Uh, oh boy, I got the hold up. Hold up. Let me let me do something really quick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Finally. I am so excited about this topic. Go ahead, Chacha. New iPad Pro drops 5G millimeter wave support as carrier rollout stumbles. For those of you that have been following the cellular industry, one of the things that has been a, a bit of a, I guess, a contentious point in 5G builds has been the millimeter wave technology. One carrier has jumped in head first. The rest of the carriers have been much more reluctant and much more careful, hesitant, and conservative in the technology. Up to this point, since 5G modems were installed into smartphones and, you know, like tablets, like iPads, Apple has been providing millimeter wave support since the iPhone 12 generation. I'm not sure about the iPad generation when they got millimeter wave. I know last the last model of the Pro definitely had millimeter wave support. This new iPad Pro does not support millimeter wave. So basically, it's a feature that has been removed, which I think we can safely assume it was cost related because the lack of gusto, the lack of enthusiasm for carriers to actually build out millimeter wave doesn't warrant the existence of it in iPads. So Apple made the decision to omit and remove millimeter wave hardware from their iPad Pro lineup. So that brings up the question, and this is completely speculative. If Apple is willing to take out the millimeter wave hardware from the iPad Pro, what is the likelihood or possibility of Apple maybe removing millimeter wave support from the base model iPhone 15 or uh, 16 generation. I think that's the premise. Moose, what do you think? I'm rubbing my hands, Chacha, because we're finally, we have arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been saying this for multiple years, and I am definitely on record on this. Chacha literally checked me on this, okay? We were talking earlier that this is a big deal. And that's why I alluded in the beginning of the podcast that I'm going to go off. Because for all the folks that have said, quote, millimeter wave is the future, quote, millimeter wave is the ideal technology, quote, millimeter wave will beat out everybody else quote verizon will have the best network verizon will be king kong ladies and gentlemen verizon is nothing compared to apple excuse me oh yeah what's the market cap top three in the world <laughs> top three in the world nobody can dispute the facts yeah they're they are the number one Warren Buffett. I want to the, there. Because he's making big money off of them. Again. And also because he sees that nobody, growth is slowing. Nobody can touch Apple. From an OEM standpoint in the United States, Samsung has tried for years. Can't do it. You know what they're going to be doing instead? Samsung is literally just going to appease the Samsung e uh, ecosystem and their base. But they're not trying to grow. What the hell is Google doing? Pixel not doing anything, guess what? The reason why they're doing it, the reason why Pixel even exists is because they need to reduce the amount of money Google is making globally. They're literally burning cash. They'd rather burn it at an OEM standpoint, see if they can create new innovations and stuff than to have more money on the balance sheet because if they do, they're gonna continuously get lawsuits that they are a monopoly, they need to be broken up, blah, 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 blah. Okay. That's the also, also the other reason why Google Fiber exists as well is because they're burning cash. Because they're not doing massive expansions either, even though they have the cash to do it. This Going back to Verizon, going back to millimeter wave. 
A Apple has signaled. Started yesterday. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? What is the quote that Chacha Sneed always say says? Chacha, can you please repeat the infamous phrase that you always say? Never listen to what they say. Watch what they do. Watch what they do. What did they do? They removed from a pro type of device, not a basic device. This is a pro device. This is for enterprises. This is for people on the go that are literally trying to replace their laptop. Okay? I'm spitting out facts tonight, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not comfortable, that's fine. But guess what? These are the facts. Okay? They removed millimeter wave from a pro device. What's to say that we are not going to see the same situation happen on another pro device that's coming out in how many months from now? Very few, very few months from now. And also I was reminded earlier today that back in 2012, when T-Mobile was desperate to get the iPhone 4, not even the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 6, they were desperate to get the iPhone. What was the criteria that Apple told T-Mobile back in the day that they needed in order for them to support the iPhone? Commitment they needed, to LTE. Exactly. Commitment to LTE. What did Apple say to Verizon, to AT&T, and to T-Mobile if they were going to put millimeter wave on the iPhone 12? You got to build it. You got to build it. What have they failed to do? They don't build it. They have not reached sufficient scale to keep it on the OEM's balance sheet. Who is they? They are the carriers. And by the way, okay. it's not just United States. It's not just United States. Japan tried to do it. They failed. South Korea tried to do it. They failed. China tried to do it. They failed. Every single major country that is doing 5G millimeter wave expansion failed. So... On the one hand, we have people that are going to say, and it's true, I'm not, I'm not dissing this whatsoever, this is a fact, what I'm about to say, and Chacha and I are aligned on this. This is the greatest de-evolution of technology we have ever seen. Oh, stop it. <laughs> we have, because we know for a fact that millimeter wave is going to be required in 6G. Terahertz technology. It's literally the full connectivity is required. 